So let me see if I can get you into a little bit of hot water by burying <laughs> a little bit deeper on the Second Amendment here. So uh, back in the 18th century, uh, mm -hmm. the Second Amendment was interpreted by the United States Supreme Court as being focused on uh, the two words to keep and bear arms, where mm -hmm. they said to bear arms uh, is a term at the time used uh, in Navy situations, and thus they interpreted uh, on that word as being something only uh, to have uh, to do with malicious mm -hmm. and organized malicious. It wasn't until the early 1900s that a new United States Supreme Court ruled where they put the emphasis on the word keep. Uh, mm -hmm. So my question to you is, uh, should we throw caution to the wind and say, no, 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 we need a complete change in our discourse. We need to talk about what the Second Amendment actually means and intends. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in all reality, though, despite those uh, those those uh, Supreme Court changes or interpretations, um, the majority of the time our country's been in existence, they, they didn't view guns the way that we currently do. That, that, that change began to happen in the 70s. But beyond that, um, I'm not of the position that where I, I want to see the Second Amendment overturned or, or or really change at all. The interpretation is something we can talk about, uh, but I, I'm not I'm not at all interested in, in trying to drag the country down a road where we are going to fight about whether we keep or do we repeal the Second Amendment. And, and as far as I'm concerned, it's it's in the Constitution. I respect it as such. Now, what do we do to make sure we have a society that can work within the constraints of having that amendment and wanting to make our community safe? That's what's important to me. Okay. That sounds like a very nuanced approach. Uh, right, right. You know that you're going into politics, right? <laughs> yes, I, I do. But, you know, I'm look, man, I, I'm a... I'm a father, right? And you know, and I, I'm a, I'm a man who has to live every day as a gun violence survivor. And I've hugged hundreds and hundreds of, of fellow gun violence survivors, and it, it requires me to be able to look beyond just pure ideology. What can we achieve, and what's going to make the most sense? I mean, I can't I can't just sit here and have these just some idea that I can't convince someone else it makes sense to do. Um, I, I got to be willing to listen. I got to be willing to, to, to hear what my, I, I don't even like calling him an opponent, but I got to hear what a, a opponent might say so we can come to an agreement of what's the best way to solve this problem. Because the longer I argue with someone on what we should or shouldn't do or what how we interpret this or how we interpret that, there are going to be 91 people that die every single day. The longer we wait to fix it, the more people will die. And that is simply not acceptable to me. I'm not willing to do that.